chapter 7. So it's been a while since I did chapter 6 and that's something that I've kind of learned in not only just writing but just in general. I cannot do multiple big projects at once. So I decided to rearrange and paint my entire office witchy space down here and so because of that <laughs> I ended up not doing much anything else because it was an absolute chaos. I didn't have my desk and we're also doing it upstairs as well. So like even the kitchen table was not accessible. The living room wasn't even accessible. So like there really wasn't a spot to like sit down and write. And instead I just focused days on end. It's actually been about like two or three weeks of solid painting and moving furniture and sorting through stuff. And during that time, I didn't write. But the thing is, I got this project like 90-ish percent done. The walls are painted and the ceiling is painted and the, most of the furniture is where it goes. It's now just the last bits of like decluttering that comes with moving furniture. But it's been nice to take that time to just really hyper focus onto that project and in doing so I still kept a few things that I was doing like I was still reading some witchy books for my other channel because that's what I do and I was keeping up somewhat with my Patreon posts-ish. Because <laughs> again, I didn't have like a witchy space to go to. But for the most part, I really just focused on that project at hand. And it made me realize that's what I have to do with writing. Now, that's not to say I won't do other projects in the meanwhile. But the reality is that when I want to work on a book, I need to dedicate a set amount of time where that is the main thing I'm doing. Housework is probably going to fall to the side. And, you know, like, I might be able to do little bits here and there, and again, still managing my other channels, but that has to be, like, the main focus. And just plow through, get it done, <laughs> and then when I'm in the editing stages, I might be able to back off a little bit, maybe, <laughs> but the reality is that I like to hyper-focus on a project. Now, my other channel, I can't do that as much. There is a limit to how much you can read in a day, and that's the 99% of what that channel is, is book reviews. And so because of that, like, it's hard to get ahead on that channel. But with writing, I can take that time and write a couple chapters a day, and then this channel will just, you know, you'll see it over time. Whereas for me, I might write one or two chapters a day and then build up over time to have a lot of content that you'll be seeing and I just, I realized that it's like that's how I need to do it, is to just take the time to focus on getting one project done, really focus on it, and then I can move on. And like, the thing with writing versus like painting a room, writing doesn't take as much like physical energy and not necessarily as much like sit down, do the task time as like painting and organizing a room, but sometimes you need that like mental break a lot more when you're writing than you do like with a physical task like painting a room. Because with writing often I'll hit a wall where it just starts to feel like you're spinning your tires and you're not really going anywhere with the story and you just need a break. Even if it's just a few hours or the rest of the day, like that's something that will happen inevitably. But I found that like I just want to focus on one writing project at a time, which is a thing. <laughs> it's like I'm working on this fiction book, I'm gonna get this one done first, and then I'm working on my nonfiction book. But I realized that I'd rather spend the time to write more chapters in this book, instead of that kind of weird gear shift that you have to do from writing a fiction to a nonfiction. This was like the biggest thing that I've learned for chapter seven. Because I didn't write for the majority of this year so far, because I've been busy doing other things, but hyper-focusing on that project, I realized that it's like, that's what I need to do with writing as well. And that's how I can get these books published because, again, I want to publish a lot more books and I don't want to just be an author that has like maybe five books for somebody to read through. I want them to have a decent amount and right now I have two published. I've published other ones but most of them I've taken off as much as you can take them off the market. I don't think Amazon lets you actually delete a title which is kind of a pain but you can un publish it and then it's just whatever copies are out there out there because one of them I'm planning to rewrite which I'm doing after this book but yeah so the majority of the chapter seven that I've learned is really to hyper focus on the project get it done and then I can move on and I don't know if that'll move my publication date up or not but I've also learned that it's like I have to do it very early in the morning and I realize that it's like 
I am very much, as much as I don't like to admit it, a morning person. I don't like the waking up process, but once I'm up, I'm able to do a lot. So I decided that if I'm gonna just be up, because then I feel like I have a lot more time in the day, and I like to go to bed early and then read, so I was like, I'll just stay up. I just immediately, I got my husband to work, got a cup of coffee when I got home, and then I sat down and I wrote chapter seven. And that system worked really, really well, because it's dark, it's mostly quiet, and you just have this little bit of like, you really like tackled the biggest thing of the day, first thing off the bat. And it's not that writing's always challenging, but it, at the end of the day, is like the last thing you want to do because it is a decent amount of an energy and like mental drain. So I'm hoping the new routine of writing in the mornings is going to work. And if I feel motivated to write more, I will. But I also have my to-do board, so I've got a lot of other things that I have to do in a day. But I don't know, it's just one of those things that it's like, it was really interesting to like note that and how if I would have stuck with that in the past, would I have gotten further along with my writing? It's kind of hard to say, but I'm curious to kind of start to implement that for like the next writing project and see how well that goes of like having that be like my main thing. Like that's the thing I have to do first thing and then whatever else I have time to do in the day. Cause that's what I did with painting. I would have breakfast and then start painting and then I would take breaks here and there as it was drying. But with writing, I haven't ever really like committed to doing it that way. So we're gonna see how it goes. So anyways, that is talking about writing chapter seven so far. It really wasn't a whole lot about the actual writing process per se, but it's fine. That's where we're at. That's what we're thinking about for chapter seven. So anyways, I would love to hear how your writing journeys are going in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I post every other day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon.